and the way you want to perform this. So in our case, you're going to take the matching normal card of your force card. All right, and you're just going to, that's going to be your uppermost. So take your gimmick, place it face down here. Take your double facer, just put it on top, and then this card, standard card, on top, right? Now, you, you, you want to have this, I do apologize, that should be face up. So it's your gimmick face up, your double backer, then that face up. And you want to have it, so you maybe have a similar card. Now, in the performance, I had a jack. I think I've shuffled these up again. Let me just grab it out. Any face card would usually, King of Spades will do it. Have something that's kind of similar to your double backer. Now, quick note, the double backer is the same face on both sides. If you don't have one, you can make one, but you'll get a lot of same side double backers in a pack. Have the card, the bottom most, or the utmost before the gimmick, similar to that card, just to mask it a little bit. So that goes on top, that goes on there, then that goes right on top there. To force this, I will just cut at that point and just do a dribble force. So all I'm going to do is just say stop for me, and then I drop at a break. So I have my force card, and I let me just figure out which is the easiest way. Yeah, run this will do it. So I just keep a break between the two packets. I know that this is my force here. I keep a break here. I start to dribble as I ask them to say stop. As soon as they say stop, whatever's at that break, let go. And sure. Then just put everything on top and turn over. Now, you can have this signed if you want. Um, if you're going to do it signed, just put a squiggle nice and big across that in black. And when you're doing the restorations, you can kind of show, um, like give it a quick flash on way, because you're not going to get a visual enough to see that it isn't the exact signature. For this routine, because you're going to get to keep this at the end, I don't see a reason in having it signed. So at this point, I will just take this card and say I'm going to do something a bit different with it. As I'm doing that, I'm going to do the easiest pushover double on the planet. If you put your thumb down and push it over, because this has rubber cement on it, that's going to come over easy and you can get your break. Put that on top and just flip everything over as you directly pick up. Okay? So because of the double backer, you're hiding the fact that the normal card is here now and this is your gimmick ring down. I will put this down on the table as I come up to do the restorations. So at this point, I'm just going to do the tear. And all I'm doing is ripping apart the pre um, stuck sections. Now I'll try and bring this into the mic so you can hear this. It still makes a tearing noise. It's crazy. Just because the rubber cement is de sticking, it'll still make that tearing noise. Now at this point, I'll rotate everything face down, turn over, and then just pull apart. Now I like to keep my orientations perfect, so I'm going to put the two back pieces down on the table, or you can put them in your mouth. It's entirely up to you. And then all you're doing for the restorations is you're bringing your hands up. I like to keep the face towards me because I use this to line everything up. Just line it all up, and because of the rubber cement, you can be really gentle and that will stick. It's crazy. Now, I want to make sure that's really firmly stuck on there. So during the routine, once I'm here, I'll pinch on the center, rotate everything up, and pull down. And that just makes sure it's good and stuck on there. And at that point, you can flash. Now, with the next card I'm going to pick up, I'm going to make sure it's one that has a rough edge on the back and a rough edge on the front. I'll explain why in a moment. So I will now come up and again just line everything up as you did before. And you can be as gentle as you want, let go, and then do the same motion. Make sure that it's stuck. And this is the reason why you left a piece with a rough edge on both sides. Because I want to be able just to place this on and not have to fidget with it. If it's one of the other ones, you'd have to put one edge in first and push out. This means I can just bring this up, just bring it straight in, and as long as I hit that center point, everything should just line up. Now don't panic if it isn't perfect, because you're going to show that it's healed, but it has scars. All right? I just say, because I've tore this up, it obviously has scars on there, and you can see that it's got tear marks. But the magic point is that it's healed together. Now I need to get a way to ring this out, so my reasoning for it is I'll pick up the deck, and I'll show this card. As I'm picking it up, I will do a pushover. Don't worry about flashing this. Most people don't even notice there's a face card there. Um, because when you're picking this up, the orientation's changing, and it's just a confusing image for non-magicians to see. So as I come up, I'll do my break, and I'm just getting a break above those two cards. Now, you just need to make sure you place the gimmick card down face down now. So that gets down on top, and you draw attention to the scars, and then pull back and show the undercard. Don't push too hard, or that will act like rough and smooth. Pull back and just show that this doesn't have them. Now, I'm just keeping a break all the while with that double. 
I push this forward is I need to get the, um, the scars away. I flip everything over as I put my hand over it and just pretend to rub. And sometimes I'll pretend to flick something off, then rub over this way and push out. And at that point, you can hand this out and let them inspect it, keep it to the heart's content. One quick note, when you are forcing the gimmick and when you're hiding it, you're going to get a little dot here where you can kind of see it on the front and on the side. The sides, your fingers just cover it. And on the front, your first finger just covers over it just to hide it. That's basically all that is. It's as simple as you're going to get for a Tone Restore card, but if you ask me, I think it's a really visual one and it's worth the time to make up the gimmick. And the crazy thing is, this gimmick will last for a good 12 performances if you treat it right. That's repair. Awesome. That's what the question was, yeah. Is that the question again about the glue? Right. You can, if you want to, use Elmer's rubber cement. Any standard rubber cement will work. I can't lie about that. The thing I found with standard rubber cement is it would clunk up too quick. Um, it, if that makes sense, it, it kind of gets clunky and glues up and attracts loads of dirt. Uh, so, I mean, it would stop working after maybe six or seven tries. This stuff um, it is Colal Photo Glue. Um, it's a German company. You can find this on eBay again for, for stupid cheap. I mean, I think this one cost me two pounds. So it's going to be like four bucks at most. Um, and I bought it in a big box, like a huge box. I got like 15 of them in this thing. And again, four pounds. Crazy. Uh, sorry, two pounds, so it'll be about four bucks. Uh, but you can find this. I think if you're going to go to a standard store and try and get a tube of this and like a, a Staples or that kind of stuff, again, it's like silly cheap. But yeah, that's all it is. Small, pi small price to pay for a miracle. Yeah, basically. And you can get smaller tubes of it. And the reason why I like the tube as well, the application is a lot simpler. You don't have to worry about this big tub and all that kind of stuff. Mm, yeah. You can throw this in your close-up case and you can get into it. And that always seems to <clears throat> dry out really fast, the regular rubber cement. Yep, that's correct. And the secondary gimmick I used to have to explain it, I've had set up for God, six weeks, I'm inclined to say. No, 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 five weeks. Um, because that's just, I usually keep one in my cellophane just in case, in case I want to do it again. So I'll keep a gimmick card in there and a secondary jack normal. Cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's basically well, what I'm it is. Well, I think of a, a, another question was, could you repeat the name of the hologram thing? You said the gimmick, you can buy some stuff that looks like the hologram for the credit card. Oh, you can just buy hologram sheets. Oh, okay. if, if you type in hologram sheet, again, into Google Somebody or eBay. About that. A lot of companies sell them. It's like a craft store company sell them to... Sure put like a little hologram and little certificates you can buy. So if you want to make up a certificate saying Jenny was brave at the dentist and that kind of right, stuff. Right. Yes, cool. The holograms you get are big discs and they've got little edges on it so it looks like a little ribbon. But you just buy one of those and you can cut about seven gimmicks out of one. Cool. And when you've done that I would recommend, it is sticky, so just stick it on the back of a, a plastic acetate that's a bit thicker and cut it out and you're ready to go. Awesome. Thanks man. Perfect. Let's give him a round of applause for a great lecture. I have to ask you questions, so can you uh, maybe grab that orange chair over there? The orange chair? Do you want me to just clear this one? I will clear this one. Give me two seconds. That way we can... Oh, yeah, if you want to do that one, I just didn't yeah, want to yeah, here. do too much work. <laughs> Whip me make me do it. It just shows you the mess I make. I'll yeah, fix, <laughs> I'll fix all this all in a minute, I believe. Let me put that down there. And my iPad cheat sheet. And for you folks at home, have a good picture of my ass. Enjoy. I made a mess, didn't I? Jeez, oh. That'll do. Here we are. The, the orange chair was fine. Yeah, I it's fine. Stop moaning. I guess we match now, so it's cool. <laughs> you, uh, would the orange chair have made me taller? That would have been awesome. Hmm. Are we good? Are we in a good spot, guys? You, can you see us okay? We're good. I can't Happy. lean back in this chair. That's why we have a monitor. I can't lean back in this. But here, look. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> Truth is funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, 